Hey all, welcome back to another Wellness Talks Briefs. My name is Todd Schmink, and what I'll be doing today is walking you through part two of the Discovering Your Values. Now, in the first video, I talked a lot about why knowing what your personal values, those things that truly matter in your life, are important. And I gave a pretty extensive overview of the why and the what's important about getting to know this aspect of yourself. And I gave a little bit of an idea of how so that we could begin to move in that direction. If you haven't watched that video already, I suggest that you just follow that link right there and then come back to this afterwards. Or you're just a little impatient and want to jump in right now, this is good too. Either way, you can always go back and see the why after you've learned the how. So just stick around. I'm gonna walk you through a real quick exercise on how to do that. Okay, so let's get into this. How do we figure out what really matters to us the most? And all I'd like for you to do is to think about a person doesn't matter if it's a historical person, a fictional person, or somebody that you actually know, somebody that's close to you, that you admire. So just take a moment and think about somebody that you admire. And just bring them like clearly to mind. See if you can even like, if you can, close your eyes and just visualize this person. Visualize what their face looks like. Are there wrinkles near their eyes? What color is their hair? What's it like when they smile? And just really bring them to mind. And then think about what it is about them in this moment right now that you admire the most. What qualities, when you're interacting with them, what are the, the sensations, the experience of being around them like? What do you admire about them? Are they strong? Is there vitality? Is there playfulness, mischievousness? Is there a curiosity, a calmness? Are they just simply kind? It's going to be different for every single person. And what I'd like for you to do then is to just take a moment, pause this video, grab a piece of paper, if you don't have one already in front of you, and write down five or six qualities about this person that you admire. Once you've done that then, what I'd like for you to do is to pick another person and repeat that process. Bring that person to mind. See them. Think about your interactions with this person. Think about the sensations and the feelings that you had interacting with that person and see if you can't write out single words describing those types of interactions. And again, writing these things down. So perhaps this person is strength, integrity, support, partnership, unity. And just write those down about that person. Again, you can pause if you like, or you could just do all this after this video is over. And finally, I'd like for you to think of one more person. Again, it can be historical, fictitious, or somebody that you know. And visualize that person. Visualize how they interact with other people. Think about how they interact in a situation which is challenging or difficult. And then write down the attributes that you admire about them in that kind of a situation. They're fair they're honest, there's integrity, there is compassion, camaraderie, and write those things down. Now what's really cool about this is that now you have a list, three different people, and you have a bunch of different attributes, you have a bunch of values, things that matter to you. Because if they didn't matter to you, they wouldn't stand out when they're being exemplified, acted out, by someone else. 
So take a real close look at that list, or just think about the words that came up when you were doing this exercise, and realize that those things that you value in others are your values. These are your personal values, and these are important, because in those situations where life is most challenging, there are different ways that I'll explore later on that you can utilize those values to allow you to make decisions. And I go over this in the first video, how we can actually begin to apply some of these things. But like I said in later videos, I will add on how to take very specific situations and apply them. Apply them to yourself, apply them for the person that you care about, apply them to the person that you're, apply them to the person that you're actually interacting with that you don't particularly care for. Because at the end of the day, as long as you stayed in touch with and moved in the direction of your values, it will be meaningful even if it's difficult. So there you have it. One of the easiest ways, beginning ways, to begin to dive in to your own personal values, what matters the most to you. And now you have them on paper in front of you. Or if you haven't, write them out. Can't emphasize enough how important it is to actually take these subjective thoughts, these thoughts floating around in your head and putting them out onto paper objectively so that they're there to remind you during those times when there's just too much noise going on inside of there. Now if you like this video, please do me a favor and just click the like button. That lets me know that this was a good video, you enjoyed this video, and that I should make more just like this video. It also helps me to know that I've actually done my objective, that I'm in line with my values, and that I've actually helped make your life 1% better than it was before you even watched this video. To me, it brings a smile to my face every time I think about that. That's why I sit here and do these videos. And then of course, if you like this type of a message and these types of tools and ideas, then by all means, please subscribe. And until the next time, may you be well.